What's up? This is Mike here, and I'm gonna play some PC VR today. It's been a while since I played anything in PC VR. I've upgraded my computer. I got a RTX 4090 now. I have a Quest 2. I also have a Quest 3, and I'm gonna be jumping into Half-Life Alex, which is a game I played at launch and I never finished. And I'm gonna see how the two compare. I'm gonna be using virtual desktop and it's gonna be a live reaction. So I have not been in the game in a couple years. So join me for the journey. Let's see how it goes. Now I'm in the headset. <laughs> so this is the quest two. Let's give this a go. Y'all should be with me now. I'm just leaving everything as the default. Like I mentioned earlier, I have an RTX 4090, so everything should run well. I have my desktop PC over Wi-Fi, or Wi-Fi 6E, so it's pretty good Wi-Fi and I have Google Fiber. Really good internet speeds, but it is wireless, so that virtual desktop warned me that there will be, performance will suffer because of that. So we'll see how this goes. I'm not touching anything else. We're just gonna roll with it and see how this goes. A L Y X. Here we go. Yes, open Steam. Hey there. Oh, hello. Uh, I don't want to go full Karen on you, but it looks like your computer is not wired to your router with an Ethernet cable. Okay. This will cause black screens, freezes, and stutters in your VR games. There's my proof, I guess. I'm not afraid of any black screens and stutters, besides the fact that I usually get motion sick when I play VR. But I am a console player, and I don't like dealing with this stuff, so let's do this. I have hands, I have feet. I'm on chapter two, so I guess I didn't play that much when this game first came out. Let's go. All right. I remember when this game launched, I was just blown away by the pure scale of it. Press trigger to start. I have no idea how to play. The game looks good. A little bit of audio study, stutter here and there, but totally playable. Don't mess with me. It's a little stuttery. Can I pick stuff up? I can't remember. Oh yeah. Glug, 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 glug. All right. Anybody thirsty? What's that? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. So I just finished playing Half-Life Alex in the Quest 2. And now for the next generation. So first thing right out of the bat, having this clear screen pass through, is worth the upgrade alone. The controllers feel a million times better in the hand. I know this is supposed to be just about Half-Life Alex, but this is my first time going from the Quest 2 to the Quest 3, and the experience just right out of the gate is just so much better. Like, those other controllers, never minded them when I had the Quest 2, after upgrading to the Quest 3, and having them in my hands again, I don't want to go back to the Quest 2 controllers ever. Computer not wired to router with ethernet cable. Hold up, hold up now, partner. I know you ain't attempting to run virtual desktop without an ethernet cable connected between <laughs> this your is fantastic. And your PC. Be sure to always Settings. launch your VR games from the games tab here in the menu. Launching your games from here will improve compatibility. So the cool thing about virtual desktop is it's pretty much got like everything that you can need. You got a keyboard if you need to pull it up and browse the web. Oh, go away screen. Ah, here we go. So it's sharp. Can't really tell much difference, I think, on the screen. Oh, but now you can. Yeah, this is better. This is way better. I see a little bit of black clipping on the side. If I go fast enough. Sorry if I get you sick. Yeah, this, the, you really gotta work. Holy shit. Holy shit. This is not the same game. But this is like chilling. This is next level. This is a completely different game. I'm never touching the Quest 2 ever again. Oh my God. Todd Howard would let me do it. Come on, Gabe. Just for comparison's sake, I should probably go back where we came from. Not as sharp, sharp as God mode, but, oh, shit. Oh, and now I'm in the room. I don't want to be in there yet. That there is a floppy now could I shoot? Store information on with magnets, if you can believe it. Yeah. Specifically, two micrometers magnetic iron oxide, three micrometers barium ferrite, 1.2. 
This is a floppy disk, kids. And there you have it. I just got out of the VR. I played the Quest 2 and the Quest 3. It's an incredible jump in quality, especially if you could play in godlike mode. If you are fortunate enough to have a RTX 4090 graphics card, I think that was the recommended setting for the godlike. But having that enabled and being able to play as smoothly as you can, they are working some real magic over at the virtual desktop team. If you do invest the kind of money that you have to for a Quest 2 or a Quest 3, and you do plan on playing wirelessly, give those devs the 15 or 20 dollars or however much virtual desktop is it's absolutely worth it i don't know where airlink is in terms of quality but last time i tested it it was night and day difference and there's a lot more you could do with virtual desktop over than through meta's official app so i hope you found this helpful i hope everything translates through the video and if it is and you have a quest 2 or you don't have a quest at all and you're looking to upgrade to the quest 3 i have a link to it in the description any purchases through that link do help my channel and a little bit of that goes towards me so Thank you if you do, but yeah, enjoy. Definitely worth it if you could get it and you're looking forward to PC VR. All right, see you in the next video.